Hey everyone, welcome to your universe Z, the place where we talk all about the Dragon Ball universe. Today we are going to go through Goku reaching the final C in transformation. And if you would like to see more Dragon Ball content, please leave your like and subscribe to join our universe Z. We know that within the Dragon Ball story, the transformations between the characters are always a big surprise, filling us with euphoria and excitement with each new model being revealed. From the heavy training to the reveal and the first awakening, all these phases become worth remembering. More than that, when we see new forms being revealed, Compared to the power levels of other even stronger characters with arm hair raising forms and abilities, we are truly reminded of what Dragon Ball really is as a great classic that manages to hold up to the present day. Certainly new transformations and forms await us in the future, but is a Super Saiyan still capable of going far beyond this? Is there a kind of god form, something like a perfect transformation that is superior to all others, something that would make Goku the most powerful Super Saiyan of all time? It is about the current transformations and the new possibility that might reveal itself within Dragon Ball's history that we will talk about in today's video. When we mention the most powerful transformation, citing a sort of Saiyan God transformation, we could start by mentioning more about the transformation itself which bears this name and has already been canonized in the works. The Super Saiyan God is a Saiyan transformation that grants the user divine key, giving him an increase in power far beyond Super Saiyan 3 and its predecessors. It is initially obtained through a ritual involving six righteous Saiyans or special divine training. Users trained in it can further combine this form with their first Super Saiyan transformation, achieving the more powerful form called Super Saiyan Blue or the Super Saiyan Rose, depending on the status and key of the one transforming. According to interviews with Battle of Gods character designer, Tadayoshi Yamamuro, the original Super Saiyan God concept had a more muscular form, wearing a cape and with a hairstyle similar to SS3 and SS4. The original author of the series, Akira Torayama, came up with an image of the Super Saiyan God that was completely different from the initial muscular, cloaked and probably golden-haired version of Yamamoro. They went back and forth a bit like this before deciding on the final design, and Torayama insisted that the form not be too different from Goku's regular appearance, specifically not being too muscular. Unlike the fighting style of a Super Saiyan Blue, which is more about demolishing an opponent with brute force, the unique Super Saiyan God fighting style focuses on predicting and deflecting an opponent's blows and prioritizes divine techniques over brute power. This form possesses the aura of a god. It allows the user to sense and possess divine key that can only be felt by those in the know, while preventing most entities from sensing the user. Divine techniques exhibited exclusively in this form by a mortal Saiyan include absorbing and nullifying enemy attacks upon contact, using their aura to paralyze enemies, and self-healing. A user of this form also gains the ability to focus excessive power into his palms to unleash invisible bursts of power. Using the autonomous ultra instinct ability in conjunction with this state makes it more accurate compared to using it in the basic form. But when we compare other transformations that Goku uses today, the Super Saiyan God we have is nothing compared to them. The Super Saiyan Blue transformation was also learned by Vedira, who was able to achieve such a level of power through intense training with Beerus and Whis. While he was ultimately unable to defeat Beerus, Goku was able to face the God of Destruction while in his Super Saiyan God form. What happens when a Super Saiyan God transforms into a Super Saiyan? This results in a Super Saiyan Blue. Form looks entirely like the Super Saiyan, except that all the gold is Goku and Vedira are both capable of achieving this form, and while its power is extremely draining in a Saiyan's body, both have trained enough to be able to surpass Frieza in his newly obtained Golden Frieza form. His fusion transformation Vegito can also use the technique. Next as an even more powerful technique, we can mention Super Saiyan Rose. Upon meeting Zamesu, the first thing Goku obviously does is challenge the unstable being. After defeat, Zamesu targets Goku's body and strength. To this end, he steals Goku's body from another timeline and teams up with his future self for all sorts of destructive mischief. form is exactly the same as Super Saiyan Blue, except that Zamesu is an actual god, not just a Saiyan who has managed to gain access to the key god. Because of this, instead of Goku Black's hair and aura turning blue, he turns pink. In light of this, we also have another transformation that is even more powerful than Blue and Rose. When an evil god who has achieved Super Saiyan Rose merges with his future evil god who has not, he gets the purest version of the Super Saiyan God ever dedicated to universal destruction. Zamesu is, in theory, the only person capable of performing this transformation. In his white Super Saiyan form, Zamesu has retained his own skin tone and facial features with Goku's build and, most importantly, his hair. However, because he has reached a new level of power, and also because Zamesu's hair color is white, the hair in this form is also, above all those we have mentioned, 
We have two others that surpass the level of a god and reach an even higher level, the Ultra Instinct. This form is not limited to Saiyans, but it is worth mentioning because it is Goku's version that is truly unique. Superior Instinct is the greatest of the techniques, although it has its flaws. Once a warrior reaches it, getting it back is no easy task. Its form, Goku doesn't even need to think. He is calm and in perfect harmony with his mind and muscles. This is a skill that Goku has been trying to master ever since he trained with Mr. Popo and came to defeat Piccolo. He first used the technique in the Tournament of Power against Jiren, although he was only able to maintain it momentarily. It also manifested against Kefla. This form, Goku's hair is slightly raised and his aura appears as a bubbling gray hue around him. Goku's superior instinct form is a rare model, but even though it's not really complete or the most powerful, it in and of itself is pretty incredible and worthy of being taken into account as possibly one of the rarest and strongest we've seen in the series to date. Of course, she's not in first place yet, as her full form trumps all of Tra Enhanced Instinct is the newest and most powerful form that a Saiyan has ever been shown to achieve, and is a rather fitting way to end the Dragon Ball Super Series. In this form, Goku's hair and eyes are completely gray. His power is a huge level gain, although it is extremely damaging to his body. Whis has said that if he holds the form for too long, his body could literally explode. The Ultra Enhanced Instinct has an even higher level of power than the God of Destruction. Whis and his sister are capable of achieving this form, as is Jiren, although Beerus is still working towards it. Despite its immense increase in strength, this form still does not put Goku's power level above Jiren's. It alone is powerful enough to stand up to other gods, perhaps even angels, who are even above the gods of destruction. That said, currently, the most powerful form that is capable of reaching such a level is precisely Ultra Instinct Enhanced. But would there be an even more powerful form than this available in the future? Absolutely. It will probably be revealed officially in the next Dragon Ball animated season, but surely some sort of Super Saiyan Angel would be able to surpass even someone of the level of an angel, easily passing the power level of a god. This would make Goku reach heights never before seen for a Super Saiyan, though he alone is quite admired for where he has been able to reach through his training and continued effort. The Angel Super Saiyan would come close enough to beat him head-on or other races, maybe some we don't even know about yet. We will only know eventually in Dragon Ball Story. Could this angel form really one day exist? What would it look like? What changes would there be physically to the characters? What powers would they unleash? Leave in the comments what you would like this form to look like and how powerful it really could be. That's it, I really hope you enjoyed the video, if you have any suggestions for videos don't forget to comment here below, because I'll be reading all of them as I always do. Also don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any content from your universe Z.